Hello, this is Robin Thomas, and I am the founder of Living Well Connections. We have some wonderful people in Living Well Connections, a community, and Susan Sanger is one of them I get to interview today. I'm so excited to interview you, Susan. Thanks for having me. Let me give a little bit of intro um, on Susan. Susan Sanger helps people 55 and up have the energy, mobility, strength, and confidence to really enjoy the second half of their lives. Susan's a certified personal trainer with a decade of experience working with people of all ages and abilities, and particularly enjoys making exercise and movement accessible to everyone. Susan, I know how passionate you are about helping people stay physically active, even as they age. When and how did you get interested in personal training? Well, so my the long story, <laughs> longer story, is that um, my background is in dance, and I'm a dance therapist. Wow. And then I and I started working mostly as a dance therapist. Well, not mostly, but I I got interested in working with people with disabilities and especially children. Um, but then um, I decided to change my focus, and I was spending a lot of time in the gym. Um, I had sort of a um, I had groupies, sort of. I had <laughs> Were you a personal who, trainer in the gym? No, I was just doing my thing. And oh. um, I guess, so it's a, it was a transition, but I was spending a lot of time in the gym and um, I had some friends that would work out with me. And then some of, the, some of my friends at the gym who were trainers said, you know, you could get paid to do this. So um, yeah, so I got certified and then I started working at the gym. And what happened was I, I think I because I'm not 25 and a lot of trainers are pretty young. Right. Um, that some of the older members kind of gravitated to me and I really enjoyed working with them. Um, I think they maybe felt that I had some idea about how it goes as you start to get older <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like maybe they're not going to just like do crazy things, jumping up and down. I can identify with that. Um, I've seen those 20 year olds and they're throwing their bodies around and they're throwing weights around. And I'm like, I'm going to get hurt if I do what they do. Yeah. And I mean, you may be able to do that at some point, but it's not like the first thing we're going to go to, <laughs> you know, unless you've been doing that. But um, yeah, so I think they felt that I had some empathy and I, I think I do. I, I obviously, so I'm in my early 50s and my and so I, I started, a lot of my clients are in their 70s. It's sort of the average age is about 72, I think, last I looked. And um, so I thought to myself, okay, so the difference between 25 and 50 is pretty interesting. Um, wow. So what's the difference between 50 and 75? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, and I think when you're 25, you don't even, that thought doesn't even enter your mind, <laughs> unless you're a rare individual and they exist and that's great. Um, but it's just not common. I certainly wasn't thinking about what it was going to be like to be 75 when I was 25. And I it mean, it's closer. Why, like, why should you? But I, I, you know. Yeah. So I felt like I could start to identify with them. And, and, and I also just really enjoyed them. They were just really fun and they had really lots of fun, interesting stories. And, um, you know, so as we work out, we're chatting and, no, we're having a good time and it was really fun. That's great. So you so you really make it fun for them too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. So how are you working with your clients? Can you tell us a little bit if if someone comes and wants to work with you? Well, um, so the first thing options and choices can you give them? Yeah, well the first thing we do is I offer a complimentary bri fitness assessment and um we go through a medical history, of course, a health history, a fitness history, like what have you been doing? What do you like to do? What are your goals, of course? And I do a movement assessment to see how their body works as a whole and just if there are any imbalances or things we need to adjust to make sure that your body is working well so that the exercises do what they're intended to do for you. Yeah. Um, sometimes we have to do some sort of what we call corrective exercise to um, make some of those imbalances uh, reset. 
And, um, and then uh, it depends a lot on what your goal is, of what we're going to do, but it also depends on just what you like to do. You know, some people like to um, kind of do the same thing and simple exercises and know what they're going to do. And they like to have a routine and other people like it to be mixed up and do different things. And I, <laughs> they say you should give people 80% of what they want and 20% of what they need or something <laughs> like that. I might be making that up, but um, it, the idea is, you know, sometimes you have to push people a little bit, make them do something they're not comfortable with um, because that's just what they need to do. So yeah. also mixing it stronger. Is, yeah. And mixing it up is good too, in terms of your body's response to the stress, the, the exercise is stress. That's what it's supposed to be. You know, it, that's what induces change. Right. And um, if you just do the same thing over and over again, A, it's kind of boring, but B, <laughs> it stops working really, you know? Uh -huh. So you want to kind of give your body a little change once in a while to um, make sure it's still adapting. Cool. Cool. That's really nice. It's really nice. So what's the favorite part of your business? What do you like the most? Well, I, and I think this is why I also like to work with older people because most of us that have been on the planet for a while, you know, have had some stuff go on with our body. <laughs> and so it's not always so straightforward. Like everything is not, isn't always working just the way, you know, we want like a 25 year old. <laughs> um, right. And, um, so I like that corrective exercise piece. I like figuring out what might work for somebody. So like if you have knee pain or back pain, like what, A, what can I do to help that? And B, like, is there an adaptation to an exercise that it's just not going to work for you if we do it the standard way, but how do we get the exercises that you need and the, and the, um, the, the stress or the, you know, the input on your body that you need to, to achieve the goal and to get fit um, or be fit, I should say, getting fit is kind of, kind of as if there's an end point and there's sort of not, like it's always a process, but, um, but yeah, like you might, I'm, I need to be creative. And so I like that. I like that everybody's kind of a puzzle, that nobody is the same. Um, we all have basically the same parts, but they don't all, always work exactly the same way. And, um, and so, yeah, I, I like that, that it's a puzzle that I have to work out and that I have to be creative and I'm in the moment. I really like that I work one-on-one. -on -one. I do do some groups and teach a little bit, but I really like the one-on-one -on -one work um, because I can really focus in on that person that's in front of me. I also do buddy sessions, by the way, that are really fun. <laughs> that's two Tell people. So yeah. that's two people. And with two people, you know, obviously I'm splitting my attention a little bit, but it's totally manageable. And it's kind of fun, like to get people to, to, to do some exercises together, maybe like relays or just partner activities. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really fun. If, you know, if you have a buddy or, or, or a spouse, if you can yeah, that's nice. with your spouse. <laughs> Most, let's see, I have, I had a couple that worked out together, but then I also have two couples that work out separately. <laughs> right, right. I think um, and then I've had other in some way. <laughs> yeah. And then just sometimes it's just friends, like two women who might want to, you know, share the, share the load and have fun together. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I, I've, I've done that myself. Um, especially with Pilates, I've done that with a friend and you, it's, it really gives that little oomph of encouraging you to go ahead and do your best. Right. <laughs> Somebody right there. The, um, the accountability piece, right? That accountability yeah. piece. And it's just fun. What happens if you don't, if you have someone, do you, you know, first of all, do you sometimes go to their homes or do they always come to you? Oh, sure, of course. A so, situation where you say if somebody lives far away or someone would like to work with you, um, but you can't physically be together, what kind right. of options do you do? Yeah, so I typically go to your home um, and that's kind of nice because you don't have to have a gym membership, although lots of my um, clients do have gym memberships and go, you know, they're not working out with me every day. So they're also going to the gym um, or go, you know, but you don't have to have a gym membership because I show up and they always ask me, well, do I have to have equipment and weights and all that? And the answer is no, not really. I mean, a lot of my clients do have um, some of their own 
weights like a mat or some light dumbbells, but I also have dumbbells and resistance bands and medicine balls and yoga mats and I got my bag of tricks, you know, bag of tricks. To me. Um, but then there are times when, you know, someone might not be able to get out or it may be farther than I can drive because obviously by driving, it's my, my business's limitation. Um, and so I do use Zoom and Zoom is a, well, or we're on it now, <laughs> like a video <laughs> teleconferencing thing. Um, and so I can see them and they can see me and it works out really well, actually. It's becoming more and more popular, the, um, the, the virtual trainer. Um, and yeah, it works, it works well. That's great. That's great. I almost feel like I'm really with them. It's, it's fun. I'm sure I'm, you know, there, I'm sure there's some limitations, but, um, um, but it works well. Yeah. As long as they have the computer and they can set up and you can watch them. Yeah. It's nice to have a separate little, um, camera, like a extra little webcam where you can adjust it, or you might be able to see a little bit wider view because your typical sort of embedded webcam on your laptop sometimes you know sort of just get cut off (laughs) i can either see your feet or your head but (laughs) i love it (laughs) oh man and especially like you know portraits of landscape (laughs) (laughs) well this is fantastic well thanks thanks for sharing us a little bit about your business and and why you love it so much. Um, how can people reach you? Oh, sure. Um, so I have a website and it's Spry Fitness NC, because we're here in North Carolina, spryfitnessnc.com. And um, I just wanted to tell a little story about my, my business name. Oh yeah, I'd love to, because that's a wonderful name. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. Um, but when I was thinking about what my business name would be, you know, of course I, gave a, a, um, I thought of all kinds of words, but I thought spry was perfect because, um, you know, it means agile, youthful, energetic, and the implication is as we age. And so I thought it was um, very apt. And I got a little bit of feedback at first was like, oh, you know, you don't want to imply anything about age. I'm like, well, that is my business. My business. <laughs> so I think it's going to be okay. So it was kind of funny. I said it was sort of like when you when you're naming your child, you know, you don't want to tell anybody their name until they're born because everybody has an opinion. But, has then, an opinion. but then when you just present your child with its name, everybody's like, "Oh, that's so great." So anyway, that's a little bit what happened with Spry, but I am really pleased with it, and I do think it's apt and because it's a very positive framing on. Yeah, on and it's it. easy to remember too, and it's short and sweet. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and I think we all want to be spry, and we all will 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 age if we're lucky, and so we just want to go with it. Well, and my mother is the perfect example of somebody who is aging well by staying, um, keeping active. Good. She's ninety four and a half now, <laughs> and she still goes down to do her exercises every morning. Um, she lives in assisted living, but they have a gym. They have a little gym and she still goes down every morning. And she says, that's how I get going every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she loves to swim when, you know, when the pool's open, she loves to go swimming. So she is something else. She's, <laughs> she's yeah. definitely something to aspire to, to be, be um, that age and still active. Right. I really think that movement is the fountain of youth. Yeah. It just really is. If you don't, move your body it it helps your brain too working right it it really does it helps you know staying moving you know moving and active also really helps your mental capability which you know sometimes when people are getting older they're worried about that sure yeah yeah for sure and that's another thing that we (laughs) that i do some in my in my um training is working with agility and mobility and sometimes it's like kind of fancy footwork is what I call it and so people will say oh I don't dance or you know I can't do that and it's like well you're working on your brain right now yeah these new movement patterns you're learning are really good for your cognition so yeah and anything that has you balancing any of those movements that has you balancing also 
balance is obviously uh, it's very key and it's often one of the things that people will tell me in my assessment that's their goal is to work on balance balance it's, it's a common issue yeah well susan you're wonderful you have a whole lot to offer people and i'm so happy that we had this conversation um please go to her website spryfitnessnc.com and i'm going to put the link just below the video so you'll be able to just one one click and see susan and then when you've finished taking a look at susan and even reach out to her she has a contact me um link on her website um, you can head over to living well connections I founded the Living Well Connections community in order to support, educate, and empower all of us, make healthy decisions toward a more balanced and fulfilling life. So you can head over to livingwellconnections.info to learn more about us and receive my free gift, Five Ways to Get Started with Healthy Habits Without Getting Overwhelmed. It's an ebook, so as soon as you join, it comes immediately. So take care, have a wonderful day, and I'm so happy, like I said, to have spoken with Susan and introduced her to you. And please come join us at Living Well Connections.